channel. If you are new, then welcome. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also turn on your post notifications. That way you will be notified of future videos. All right, so actually I was in the process of starting to wash out all of my tools. That way I can start a new batch of gloss of my pre um, pre mixed base that I showed you guys in my last video. And a lot of you all wanted to know, like, how do you actually clean it? Because you all know when you try to clean anything that have that base in it, you get that really oily fume that just seems to not go anywhere. But today is that video, so if you guys are interested in to see how I clean all that, then just keep on watching. And I do want to put a disclaimer in. If you all hear the dishwasher, that's what's going on. I'm in my kitchen, of course, and the dishwasher is going. So yeah, let's just jump right on into the video. Okay, now these are some of the containers that I am going to clean. As you can tell, there is a lot of product left in these containers and these were some of the glosses that I um, experiment with. I had some for my blowout sale and just some stuff that I had sold before that I'm no longer selling and no longer need. So there's plenty of gloss in here. So we're gonna get ready and clean these out, which I can just throw them away and just get some more. Cause like I said, I can just get it from Dollar Tree, but for the purpose of the video, I'm going to show y'all how to save a dollar, y'all. A dollar can get y'all somewhere. Some of y'all may think a dollar ain't nothing, but see, that's how the rich stay rich. And then also this container here, as you all seen in my previous video, my tips video, this here is where I keep my pre-made gloss in. As you all can see, there's plenty of gloss left in here as well, and I'm going to show you guys that, but... um. To get a better understanding from my last video, I keep my pre-mixed gloss in here. There's only this base here, only this batch. Now, once I'm done with this batch, I do go out and clean it and put a whole new batch in. So I don't, I'm not continuously putting the gloss in there, putting the gloss on instead of mixing up. So after this bowl here is gone, I'm going to clean it and then redo my base. Just to clear some of that up from the last video. Okay, now the products that is needed for this here is a silicone spoon. You all seen me mention this in my video as far as to mix your gloss with. This is really good for cleaning it as well because this silicone right here is going to get all of that grease out. Um, you're going to need paper towels. Now me personally, I like the little cloth, the cloth cotton feel paper towels um, versus the regular paper towels. But whatever you, have, whatever you have laying around the house can work as well. And also some boiling hot water and a really big bowl so let's just jump on into this video and y'all I forgot the most important products y'all some baking soda and also some dishwashing liquid now the first thing you want to do is you want to run you some water um, that way we can put it on the stove so we can boil it Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you all is how to actually clear all the gloss out. I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory, but using the silicone spoon just help you to get every last edge and corner of your bowl. Now, I just can't express this enough, you all. You want to get all the gloss out because you do not want any of this grease going down your drain and clogging it up. This is really thick. All right, now after you got as much cloth out as possible, you're going to take that paper towel and you're going to basically just clear it out completely as if you were drying the bowl. That's exactly how you want to get all the gloss out. And yes, the process can get a bit messy, but you, like I said, I can't express this enough, you guys. You do not want all of this grease and oils to go down your drain because it's going to clog it up. Now right here, I am just going to repeat the process with the rest of these, so I'm just gonna kinda speed through it. But as you can see, I am literally cleaning 
the gloss out with the silicone spoon first and I'm just going to go back over it with the paper towel. is how everything looks once i'm done with everything and i'm gonna show you guys like doing it on this paper towel just makes it easier to clean up because as you can see i'm just going to basically pick up the paper towel and throw it in the trash and no mess and the same thing as i did with a bigger container i'm going to do with the smaller ones and i'm going to just take the paper towel and just basically clean it out completely and you will definitely want to focus around the rim of the container Now once you're done with that process, you're going to take your really big bowl and you're just going to put in your antibacterial hand soap and also some baking soda and you're going to pour in the boiling hot water and then you're going to add in your containers. Okay, and now you want to add in your containers and you want to make sure that you submerge it under the hot water. That way the um, water can get over the entire container. And as you can see how I'm doing it, I'm trying to, I'm filling the cups up and then I'm going to let it sit there. Okay, now after letting it sit for a good about 20 to 30 minutes, I did go back and add some more baking soda and I poured another pot of hot water on it. Now, some people may think this was an extra step. Like you, do, you don't have to necessarily do this step. This is just something that I wanted to do myself. Now the second time around, I only let it sit for like 10 or 15 minutes. As you all can see, it got a lot of that film off. So now basically I'm just gonna add the um, some water to kind of chill it down some, and we're just gonna wash it. And you just wanna wash it just as if you were washing dishes. And I did use a new sponge.
y'all probably look a little extra greasy i've been baking cakes i've been cooking i've been doing a lot but here are the here are the tubes right here that was clean and y'all these are so clean like i said when i showed you earlier they had like a little residue but it's, it's not like a film a sticky film or anything i don't know if it's like the discoloring from the baking soda and the hot water or whatever the case it may be but these are clean y'all like so if you all were wondering how do you clean them this it is now if you clean it really good first time around you will not have to go through a second time the first time i cleaned them like this i did have to go back a second time and clean it but this time around i knew exactly what i was doing same as this here y'all completely clean but i do want to give you all some advice Now, if you do use glass, I'm going to let y'all know. Glass cleans so much easier, y'all. And it's so much better to mix. Um, but So, pretty soon, I will be switching everything over to glass. Like I said, it's way easier to clean. Because I keep my peppermint rose gloss in here as well as my lip balm. And, y'all, look at how clean that is. And yes, I did mix gloss in here. And look at it. No residue. It's my fingerprints now. No residue at all. So, like I said, these are from Dollar Tree as well. Cleans up 10 times better. I'm telling y'all, y'all mix y'all gloss in this glass. You're going to feel a difference. Well, you're going to see a difference in mixing your gloss and also cleaning it. All right, y'all. Now, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I know in the last video... Well, a few videos back, a lot of people was asking, how do you clean it? And I promised that I was going to do this video. And there y'all go. Like I said, just do some boiling hot water, some um, dishwashing soap, and antibacteria if possible, and also some baking soda. Um, so if you guys have any questions, make sure y'all drop them down below. I try my best to give y'all all of these tips and everything. But like I said, you want a better, easier cleanup and mixing process? use glass like I'm, t I'm telling y'all use glass but that's everything so i'll make sure you guys like comment share and subscribe do all that lovely stuff i love you guys so much and i'll see you all in my next video bye